for those of you who are only here because of the video title and not because of my endearing and lovable personality. <laughs> Use your mining drone to collect iron, the orange stuff, and titanium, the silver stuff. Build a small ship with a titanium reactor, crew quarters, thrusters, engine, dock, and mining lasers. Find a space station with a captain to hire. Leave the ship. Press T. Select it with middle mouse. Then press F to give it orders. Tell it to mine, and you're done. <sighs> there. For all the others who are here because of my lovable, endearing personality, let's get into the actual video. So here we are! This is basically an escape pod we are starting in. If you play the game by yourself and in single player you start with a ship, but if you start on a server, and this is the iCraft server for Evorian, and this is all you have. A tiny little drone that can't do anything else but fly around and mine. So let's start by mining this asteroid right here without flying into it hopefully there we go we are mining them iron it is getting into our inventory and once we have enough we can start building an actual ship we don't want to live in a mining drone forever of course there we go our first iron asteroid harvested completely if we are very lucky we might find there's a wreckage there Okay, that's it's not a good sign. I hope there won't be space pirates here. But if we're lucky, we might find titanium in this orbit already. If we hit the map key, we see that we're there. And there is the center of the galaxy where everybody wants to be. We can very slowly make our way there, but we have to upgrade our ship. First, we have to build a ship, obviously. But once we have it, we have to upgrade it as well. There's some more iron. Let me get there while we're talking. And titanium is the next thing we want in order to upgrade things and to build new technology. For example, a big reactor. This is something we cannot make out of iron. We can only make it out of titanium. And once we can build a reactor, we can actually build separate mining drones that we then can man with a dedicated crew we can hire. And then we can tell these guys to mine for us. We can basically automate mining, which I'm very excited for. Iron is the stuff with the orange glow. Titanium would have a white glow. I don't see it just yet. Oh, this thing is even damaged. Oh, I have never seen that. So there must have been a pirate attack on this system. In our little drone, we don't stand a chance against any sort of attack whatsoever. There's a lot of iron here. So let me go ahead and <laughs> dig a lot of resources so we can build our first mining drone so we can make our way up in the world and start building proper spaceships. As for the spaceships, I want to try and build a Terran fleet out of StarCraft or StarCraft 2. Very ambitious project, but the spaceship building in this game is actually really phenomenal. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, pirates are attacking this sector. I just got this lovely message and now we have some red dots. Okay, okay, as you can see though, a lot of other ships that are friendly towards us are flying there and we have a space battle going on. Let's fly there and see what we can do with our tiny flimsy drone. I believe we cannot really lose anything because we don't have anything just yet, but let's find out. The pirates are done for. Well, thank you other spaceships. Thank you very much. This is a virus coming into ground control. Ground control, do you copy? There is no ground, so there's no ground control. You're just talking to yourself. Y oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, I think I harvested the system pretty decently. There is no titanium here that I could find. So we got to move to a different system. We could build a mining drone here just out of iron, but that would mean we have to rely on solar panels for its power. And that is iffy. In order to move to a different system, we have two options. One is to use one of these gates over there. If we check of the map you see these lines and these lines are what the gates are connecting so I'm pretty sure this gate is connected to this green dot over there then we have a connection to this and a connection to that or we can use the hyperspace drive I just assume that this is what it is called of our little drone to jump ourselves because gates cost money I currently have 10,000 space monies and 24,000 iron sounds like a lot but we run through this quickly and I think every jump through a space gate costs us 500 so I would rather jump myself 
order to do that I want to see the center of the galaxy is in that direction we of course want to move towards the center so I want to go here I right click enter the coordinates in my space thingy then I just have to find where that is there it is jump root calculated now I just hit space and woohoo there we are that was a pretty quick oh man this is a fancy looking nebula but as you can see <laughs> this is all there is to this. You can find all kinds of stuff in space, but you can also find uh, space. A lot of uh, just space. So let's jump further to the next green dot. Whenever you jump, certain things can happen. This time we were lucky. No bad events. The Oh, and as soon as we enter this, we get messaged. Well, hello. It's a pleasure to meet someone who's also independent and doesn't belong to one of the large factions. That's a brave decision. Yeah, that I totally decided that for myself. We should work together and show these big factions that they aren't as great as they think. Will you help me? How can I help? You seem like someone who just gets back up whenever they are beaten down. Do, how can you tell? Because I <laughs> only own a tiny mining drone. <laughs> I was looking for someone like you actually. What for? I'm on a research mission. I want to find out where the Xotan are coming from. Who are the Xotan? What do you know about the Xotan? Not nothing. Not, not much is an exaggeration. Well, you probably know that they are the Scorch of the Galaxy. I know now. An alien race that is attacking innocent ships and stations. Oh, there's another ship right there. No, of, of course I knew that. I am trying to find out where they come from and if there is a way to stop them. Good, good for you. Once you've built yourself a good ship, would you like to help me? Yeah, why not? Once I built myself a great ship, that is. You know what, what? I can tell you're a brand new captain here. Once again, what gave it away? The fact that I only own a mining drone? Have this! It's an upgrade for your ship. Uh, thank you. It allows your scanner to scan for mass in distant sectors. Okay. It basically finds hidden sectors for you. They'll show up as yellow blips on the galaxy map. Oh, fancy. Maybe you'll find something good. Just be careful. There are pirates everywhere in those off-grid sectors. Well, there are pirates everywhere here as well. So we'll see each other once you're ready. Good. How, how do you know when I am ready? I've sent you a few guidelines on how to make it as a captain. Good. Uh, thank you. Thank you. See you. Bye. There are asteroids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There are bunch of asteroids here fancy but before we fly towards them let's hit p so we get an overview over our ship ah we cannot install any upgrade into our little mining drone this is how it looks by the way <laughs> super basic as i said earlier the ship creator in this is actually really amazing but we need some materials before we can get into shipbuilding yeah bunch of asteroids but actually no resources that i can see here so let's move on on our way towards the center of the galaxy Oh, oh yes, there we go. There we go. A titanium asteroid. That's what I was looking for. Mine, 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 all mine. <laughs> Apparently, we just got the mission about the Pirate King. Yeah, hello. I only have a tiny mining drone. Maybe I don't want to do stuff like that just yet. But missions are a big part of this game, as is the world itself, which is procedurally generated. One of my favorite words, because I can never pronounce it easily. Speaking of which, our start position was pretty good. We started there and we only had to jump twice, basically, in order to find a bunch of titanium. We had this badge here. I see another one back in the distance there and there. Let me mine all of them and then we will see if we already have enough to make our first mining drone. Okay, with that we have 3700 titanium. Let's hit the B key to found our first ship. Miner 01, there you go. It'll cost us 500 iron, we can afford that. And it starts with 4 crew, which is decent. I'm not in an alliance yet, so I can't make it an alliance ship. Let's just start and with that, we, 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 have, a, we have a cube. A cube that is very unhappy because it has no rotation, no acceleration, it cannot break or thrust. And it is very weak because it has no weapons. It's, it's just a cube. So let's hit the B key again and we are in building mode. Now in this you can select your building blocks right here. There are a ton of them all made out of the different materials. Right now we have iron and we have titanium and we want to start with a titanium generator. Let's see how big of a generator we can make. This costs 400 and we can afford it. Before I build it I want to blend in the mirroring options. Yeah okay we are perfectly centered so let's add a generator to this. Over here we can see everything that this space pod 
does or a spaceship as it's gonna be eventually. Right now all it does is generating energy. A lot more than it needs but it cannot move, it cannot rotate, it cannot defend itself. So let's work on that. We will need some crew quarters so let's give it this. Since I have all the mirroring options for the X and the Y axis activated it's actually pretty cool and very easy to come up with unique and very fascinating shapes here. If I hold the R key I can rotate whatever I'm building. Maybe this? <laughs> It'll need some iron thrusters. Which you wanna ideally build towards the outside of the ship. And let's try a 1 by 5 and see. That increased our deceleration, so our braking to 11.9 meters per square second. And our pitch and our roll are now at 1.5 and 4. But basically we can move in all directions now. So let's give this thing some engines. Maybe like so. <laughs> it looks very... <laughs> Very basic, but everything is in the green and if we leave this menu now Yeah, yeah, it flies and we can boost It's okay. It's an okay-ish ship. What we want to do next is add some turrets. Do we have some? Yeah, we have an iron mining turret and an iron physical weapon kind of thing turret. Actually, we have two turrets. Perfect. We just plop them on on the top right here. It is saying that we don't have enough crew, but that's because the game is paused, I believe. Okay, we have to enter our ship's menu with P, then we go to crew and we say auto assign. Then these should, yep, we had four people and now they are all in mining. We can now steer this ship. We can fly. Oh my goodness, it's fast. Break, 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 break. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that went well. And this goes a lot faster than our little mining drone did. Now there are several different types of mining lasers. We have iron mining lasers. That means they can mine iron and one tire material further up, so titanium. Eventually we want to replace them with titanium and then better and then better. But what we most of all want, these guys are not only mining, they are also refining the iron. And while that rhymes and this is good, it's actually not as great as it sounds because they are very low in the efficiency. Let us actually check. These lasers have an efficiency of 12.9. So if there were 100 iron units in this one thing, we would get 12 out of it, which is really not good. There are mining lasers that don't refine this stuff. These are the ones that you want to get as soon as possible because they are way more efficient. Let's go there though. This is a space station, a mining one, doesn't matter. We just want any space station. We want to head over there and fly towards the dock. Oh, we cannot dock, I believe, because we haven't given ourselves a dock. Let's quickly add that. An iron dock and depending on where we put that, actually want to disable the mirroring for this one. I only need one dock. Let's put it up there and now we can fly there once we are close enough to this dock and once we hover over it there we go we can hold f and we track to beam towards it now we are docked blah 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 i want to hire some crew because if this ship is supposed to fly independently we will need a captain i think it's okay if i just hire any person here and this person will become a captain as soon as i need him to now let's try this i want to hit the t key Ah, there we go. I uh, bye, bye. ship. <laughs> I hadn't stopped it. I just jumped out of it. <laughs> okay, okay. But now I can select this. I can interact with it. I can give it an order and I can say mine. Your ship has no captain. Well, we'll solve that then. Let's enter the ship and see. Crew. There's one crewman. I want you to be a captain. How do I say that? Hmm, my crewman can become an engineer, a gunner, a miner, a mechanic, a sergeant and a lieutenant, but not a captain. Let's fly to the order rig and see if I can hire a captain there. Whoop, this is a fast ship, I like it. Tractor beam in and we're docked. Ah, they do have different people to offer. These have sergeants. Then I guess we'll have to fly around from station to station searching for our first captain. But in the meantime, I'll gather all the titanium I can get my hands on without flying into it. 
<laughs> that was close. Ooh, some pirates just attacked the system. Uh, and apparently now some alien ships have appeared. However, do you see that uh, down there? The pirates have fought against the local defenses and lost and they dropped some goodies. And since the guys who killed the pirates don't want the goodies, let's go and check them out. We can have them for free. There's also the pirate ship right here that we could salvage. What do we find here? An iron mining turret. Nice. Another iron mining turret. That is blue though. This is rare. Let us see here. Efficiency of 14. What do these have? 12. Well, go away and you go there. Plunk. They look the same, but this guy is a lot more efficient. Well, a bit more efficient. Let's say it like that. We may as well equip this weird system upgrade that we found and now apparently on our map there, oh yeah, no these are missions, ah these must be the things that have been added with this upgrade. But yeah we are still searching for our cap, do you happen to have a captain in there? I don't have a salvaging laser so what I'm doing here makes no sense other than fancy lighting effects. I don't have a cargo bay so I cannot pick up whatever this is either sadly. Oh hey look at that, there is a yellow plopping up thingy. Maybe this is what the new upgrade gave us. Still haven't found a captain though, this sector has none. So we may as well move on and check out what the yellow dot is. Please, no pirates. Please see. A lot of pirates. Right. Wait a second. Wait a sec, they are actually leaving me be a thing. Yeah, these are just quote unquote outlaws. I think they will leave me be if I don't get too close to them. So I may as well look around for some titanium and to be very careful. All this red is very unnerving. There's titanium right there. Let's try. Just leave and you won't be harmed. Okay, I will leave right after trying to mine this titanium right there. You, you, you don't mind that, do you? Nope, they don't seem to mind at all. It's such friendly outlaws, I love it. Let's continue on our search for a captain though. Oh, this is a cool system. I really like the whole art style of the game. But let's see what we can hire here. Lieutenant. Two captains. Yes. Oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Try to be me and Scotty. And give me a captain. Oh, wait. Can I, can I, can I afford a captain? <laughs> nope. Do you guys want to trade with me? I can only buy from you, okay? Okay, then let's jump back to all the metal mines. Because I hope I could sell my metal there. Right? <laughs> there we go. Here I can sell. I flew all the way back to <laughs> where we started basically because I needed a resource depot. Aha, this is where you can sell your raw minerals. Do you happen to have a captain? Nope, so we're gonna have to do this all over again. Flying back after we sold our style. Bunch of ships just entered here. Oh, it's merchants. Okay, we are saying they don't take iron, only titanium. What is 2000 worth? Okay, we're up to 15. Is that another 2000? That hurts, but we need the money. And let's jump all the way back. Okay, I am back. And they only have one captain left, so maybe crew changes or someone else was here and actually bought a captain. I'm here. It's my captain. I want to buy... Uh, uh, let, let's say hire him. <laughs> else that sounds really, really weird. Here we go. Give me a captain. Nice. Awesome, so if I now exit this guy, e e ooh, ah, very close, very close, and tell you to go mine, what will you do? You you turn, okay, you look very confused, you look right at me, don't, <gasps> okay, this captain knows what he's doing, uh, what, what is he doing, wait for me, I'm actually faster than this ship, yes, look at him go, and I get the titanium, he is mining. Oh, this looks so cool. Can I mine along with him? Can we do that together? Yes, we can. Oh my lord, I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is our basic automation setup. Complete. Don't ram the asteroid. This ship wasn't the most expensive one, but yet still. I don't think I can tell them what to mine exactly. Oh my goodness, look at this ship back there. This uh, <laughs> mines a lot more efficiently. Yikes. But hey, we have our first little automated ship going for us. This is awesome. I'm just drifting along and my crew is mining for me. I, I, I'm super excited for it. It's very simple, very basic, just the beginning of the game. But already I love it. Wait, what are you doing? Are you trying to compete with the big ship over the asteroids there? I, I mean, yeah, as long as you don't annoy them by doing that, I am fine. Yep, yep, that's exactly what this captain is up to. Look at that. 
Yikes, we need to upgrade our ships very soon. But I think for a start, this is perfect. Okay, this guy actually is a big problem because the AI always seems to target the same thing. See that they're both taking off in the same direction, the big miner and my tiny little ship. And my tiny little ship is faster in acceleration, but in overall speed, this guy then overtakes him, is there before my little ship and starts mining. And my little guy, he can't really do anything. Look at that. He's trying real hard, but the block or whatever you call it, he's targeting is being mined by the other ship before he can even arrive. The oh, uh, okay, no, now you're just showing off, really. Look at this, such a bragging dude. Whoa, and another one just came in. Um, maybe this is a highly contested area. <laughs> maybe it wasn't so smart to set our minor loose here. Go for it, little ship. You're in the lead. Don't let them catch up. And they caught up and they overtook him. And he's doing nothing because he's confused about how efficient this is in comparison to himself. But they're doing the best they can, okay? They are working very hard. Oh my. Oh, this is sad. This is sad. <laughs> my little ship compared to these guys. Now the question is, can I build another of these ships? Uh, I would have to save the design for that. I get it. So then I go to apply design. Yeah. And we have a second one of these. Hey, awesome. Do we have any lasers for it? Yep, we still have some. Very nice. So let's fly this guy to over here because there are a bunch of asteroids that nobody is mining whatsoever. Oh, wait, we need a captain first. We need another captain for which we need more money. But as I saw, there is actually a resource trading post right here. We did not have to go all the way back, but hey. We learned some mechanics of the game. Ah, and here we can also sell some iron. Very good. Let's sell 10,000. Oh, yeah, that, that was good. And I think one of these still had a captain to offer. There we go. A captain. Perfect. Hey, I'm here to hire your captain. My captain. Very nice. Let's fly to our destination. <laughs> Let the ship loose and tell it to... to ooh. <laughs> This is always a bit confused. Wow, this is actually bigger than I thought it would be. Orders. Go mine. Go. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> Very eager about it. And now I would love to build minor version 3. There we go. Auto assign the crew. And we're actually out of mining turrets. So we can give this guy some weapon systems instead. Very nice, but I want to see what our other miner is doing. All these asteroids should only be for us now. There is no competition here. And if they are pirates, uh, I can pew pew them now with a very weak laser something guns. Yeah, there you go. Show that asteroid. Oh, you can see our income going up. I love it. Oh, we see all of our ships in this overview and we see what they are doing. Oh, I love this. Oh, wait, 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 wait a second. Eight, f f whoa, 15,800 due in two hours. 800 for the ship I'm on and another 50. Yikes, okay. Okay, we gotta make sure we sell a lot of the stuff that these guys are mining. Else we'll go bankrupt and I think then our crew would leave us. Hey, there's some titanium. Hey, dude, there's some titanium down there. I wish I could tell them what to mine first. Let us fly back to the very beginning because there is this guy right there i would love to buy Ooh, efficiency 18 30 percent off yes i want this a ship in your sector is calling for help wait what oh pirates oh pir okay okay let's see if we can do anything i mean we do have a fighting but never mind quickly sell all of our iron 20 000. there we go <laughs> oh but now we have the money and we shouldn't be worried about sales Wages? Salary? <gasps> there is titanium there. All the more reason to hurry over to the station so we can get some mining turrets. Okay, 28,000. That is expensive, but it's an exceptional item. I want it. And I guess we buy this guy because it's the only other mining turret they actually have. Get rid of these guys. Get the mining turret in. Oh, I cannot place a titanium mining turret on an iron block. Can I upgrade this block? I'll just upgrade the entire ship. Is that okay? Oh, fancy. It looks different now. So can I now put this on that? Yes, there we go. Oh, now we're all shiny and silvery. Look at us. Very, very cool. With this, I think we have covered all the basic mechanics of the game. We haven't gone into piratry. We could be a space pirate ourselves if we wanted to. I don't think I want to play the game like that. 
we haven't entered the iCraft Alliance yet, which I'm pretty sure is a thing, it's the iCraft server after all. We haven't even met another player just yet. So there is still a ton to discover, a ton more technology, the more resources we discover. So I am very, very excited for this game. Let me know what you think of it. I think it has amazing potential. I enjoyed it a lot. If you enjoyed watching me and if you want to help out the channel, you can hit the like button uh, down below. And if you want to see more silly space content like this, you can hit the subscribe button. I almost had to cough there, but I gulped it down. This was your personal virus and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>